So having energy that we can afford that scales globally, that's reliable, that can power every type of machine, that is that makes us able to use machines to be productive and prosperous. And so without that, we live primitive, brutish, short lives. And then we have three quarters of the world totally lacks the level of cost effective energy that we say in the United States enjoy. And, you know, for example, three billion people use less electricity individually than one of our refrigerators. So if you just see, there are huge benefits to fossil fuels that nobody's talking about. And I show it's not just random idiots who aren't talking about it. It's the whole, what I call knowledge system, the set of institutions, including what I call our designated experts who are supposed to represent the best expert opinion. They're just ignoring the benefits. And one point I make is they ignore the agricultural benefits of fossil fuels, even though fossil fueled machines are crucial for amplifying our ability for all kinds of agriculture. And then also fossil fueled fertilizer is crucial, particularly natural gas. And we're seeing that right now. We're seeing that when you make the machines expensive, when you make fertilizer expensive, you actually have fertilizer plants shutting down and you have all sorts of, of disasters. And so we're ignoring the benefits. And then I go back in history and say, okay, if we're ignoring the benefits, whenever somebody ignores the benefits of something that, and they should know better, that implies a bias, right? I mean, it's like if, if let's say somebody's mother-in-law like gave them $5 million and provided them a home, but they only say negative things about the mother-in-law, you would you would expect that the negative things about the mother-in-law are probably exaggerated, right? Because if they don't mention any of the benefits of the mother-in-law, why would they be object? They clearly have a bias. And so we, you, it's, it's worth saying, well, if they're, if they're ignoring the benefits of this, is it possible they're overstating the negative side effects? And then I go to history and say, well, what's the track record? What have they done? Because it's hard to evaluate the science of the present, but what have they done in the past? And then you can see, well, there are at least four instances where our supposed experts have told us that fossil fuels we're going to cause an imminent catastrophe and didn't. They were supposed to cause a resource depletion catastrophe. Resources actually increased a pollution catastrophe. Our environment generally became cleaner, a global cooling cl catastrophe and global warming catastrophe. And in both cases, we became far safer from climate in terms of the people who die from it. So what we see is there's a history of catastrophizing the side effects. And a big part of this is ignoring the relevant science. That's one thing like, or rather totally overstating any relevant science. But then the other is ignoring the benefits of fossil fuels for dealing with these things. For example, fossil fuels help us produce more resources, including find more fossil fuels. Or as I like to point out, they help us neutralize climate uh, danger. 